By all indications, the Last Supper took place one night before the Seder, the traditional Passover meal. Jesus wanted to host one last meal with his disciples, especially since he knew the end was near. In Gospel accounts, the disciples tend to dwell on the atmosphere of this occasion, on Jesus, his words, his feelings. Jesus broke the bread and passed it to his disciples. He blessed the wine and passed around his cup. He said, Take, eat, this is my body. Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. For he knew that one of them would betray him before the night was over. We can safely guess though what they ate, especially considering that this was a Passover feast even if it has been held one day too early. Besides the bread, probably matzah, there must have been wine, fish, roasted meat, the traditional Passover sacrifice, hard-boiled eggs, a very popular Roman dish, and simply because they were in season, artichoke, first mentioned in the region at about this time bitter herbs that have a symbolic meaning on the eve of Passover. At that season, most fruits aren't quite ripe, so we can assume that any fruit dish was made of dried fruit like figs, dates, apricot, apples, raisin, and so on. When it comes to prepare a meal like this, it's very easy to convince me to help. Stuffed artichoke are very simple to prepare. First, we're going to make the stuffing. A little bit of olive oil, garlic, breadcrumbs, almonds, Black pepper and finally a touch of white wine. Now we're gonna stuff the artichoke that we cooked before in salted water. And voila. This we top with some grated eggs, like this. All artichokes can be stuffed, but it's easier to stuff artichokes buttons. Et voilà, dish alla romana. And let's also make a dry fruit compote. Any dried food can be used at home. Apricot, Plums, dried plums, raisins, I love raisins, add some water to it, and a stick of cinnamon. Now, we'll mix it. 
and let it cook. Ah, now all we have to do is wait. It has always been a dream of mine to come to the Terra Santa, to the Holy Land, to visit all those places where Christianity was born. Well, thanks for being with us for Feast of Faith. We hope that you enjoy learning from us about the story of Jesus and the birth of Christianity from somewhat a different point of view. Thank you and God bless. Antonio. Arrivederci. Andiamo, Antonio.